Hello everyone, in this particular lesson we're going to be learning how to create our React app. So from this point forward we are going to actually start writing and editing of our code to achieve what we need to do and um, on the way learn what React is about and to be able to learn all of the concepts that are associated with it. So without wasting any of your time, let's kick off. Okay, so I have extracted the downloaded file at, um, right here. So we can see all of the pages right here. So now it's time to create our React app. So what you are going to do is if you're using a Windows PC, all I just need you to do is go to the location bar here and right here, just type in CMD. Now this is going to um, open up the command prompt and in this specific directory. And if you're using um, some other operating system, all you just have to do is open up your terminal or command line or command prompt equivalent. So once you've opened it up, and then you all have to all you have to do is navigate to the directory where you want to actually create the um, react app then what you have to do is type in the following command npx create react app then the name of your app so whatever it is you want it to be but for the purpose of this particular um series i think it makes sense if we actually um name it couple link which is the same name of the template we downloaded so i'm just going to say couple link and then before i actually click um enter it might take a bit of time for this to actually load and accomplish so i'm going to actually skip forward to when it has been installed Okay, so here I am in Visual Studio Code. The first thing I need you to do is go under your extensions and search for this extension, which is ES7 React Redux GraphQL Hair React Native Snippet. So this comes with um, a lot of support for writing of React and also um, emit and some snippet so and the second one is simple react snippet so these two will work together will make use of them um, to actually help us write your react um, code faster so and if you're not using visual studio code not to worry you can still follow on board but this is just to um, make the workflow better and faster and then another thing i would like you to do is go under your file and then preferences then you're going to um, click on the settings and then on the settings you come into extensions then click on emit now all you just have to do is create and um, create and edit this so you just have to add an item and the key is going to be javascript and then the value is going to be javascript react Okay, so this is just to ensure that okay, um, your code is recognized by Visual Studio Code and Emmet is fully supported. So you can do stuff like, okay, um, create your components easier and faster and it's recognized that, yes, you are working with React JS. So that's all for this particular video and I'll see you in the next one.